Two weeks ago, we aired Melody Mercer's report on the very moving 9-11 Patriots Day concert led by the VA National Medical Musical Group at Washington's Basilica of the Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. This week, as promised, we have Melody's follow-up report that takes you behind the scenes to show you what goes into a concert. The name VA Medical Musical Group is a bit of a misnomer. The group is open to all VA employees and their families who love to sing or play music and love performing exciting concerts in interesting places. We used to say you have to be a doctor to play. Now we say you have to have seen a doctor to play. So anybody on the planet qualifies. There are two streams that form the Medical Musical Group. One of them is the VA healthcare system, and also then the, the other stream is the National Medical Care System, which is the medical schools, the American College of Physicians, the American Medical Association, and that kind of thing. And they converge together to form this group of people um, who over the years, even those who don't work for the VA, expressed great interest and concern for veterans. We have no limitation whatsoever. It is the dedication, the talent, and some people ask us, do we do auditions? We don't. We found that if somebody is going to travel all the way from California to Washington to perform and spend $1,000 in a week in a hotel, they probably have some talent to start with, and we've never been disappointed. Rehearsals for this concert start on Saturday with sectional rehearsals. The difference in the group from Saturday's first rehearsal until Monday night's dress rehearsal is only part of what makes participating so thrilling. We start out needing to rehearse, but by the time Monday and the concert rolls around, somehow we just pull it together, the practice, the rehearsal, uh, ourselves and with the chorus and with the soloist, we always seem to bring it together by the end, by the concert. Just performing right next to the orchestra and listening to them, you could feel the music is just so dramatic and patriotic, it just got my spirits up. The friendships that I have made down through the years, um, it's just wonderful. I have friends um, all over the United States and we get together once or twice a year. We have principally three small ensembles, and these are three groups that typically go out and perform a day or two before the main concert. And in places like Washington, D.C., where there's so many wonderful places that we can perform, we can get out and see the soldiers and sailors at Walter Reed or at the Bethesda Naval Hospital. And here today, of course, we're at the Armed Forces Retirement Home. Next stop is Performance Night, where instrumentalists and singers come together with celebrities in one harmonious sound. All with one goal, to remember those who lost their lives on 9-11. So we the family of these heroes, and I ask, please, family members, please stand up and be recognized. As one of the performers, I can tell you what a thrill it is to perform with these marvelous musicians. But as one of the performers, I can also tell you how sad it is when it's over, right? It's not over yet. Yeah, come with us. Come with us. So the group created one last chance to socialize, the post-concert banquet, where participants get a chance to let their hair down and have fun. First of all, I hope you like my hairdo tonight. <laughs> well, if you're at all like I am, if you have that feeling that music is important in your life, if you enjoy making music, join the orchestra. For VA News, this is Melody Mercer. Fabulous. If you're interested in performing with the orchestra in its Veterans Day or Flag Day concerts or on their European tours, go to www.medicalmusical.org on the web for more information or send an email to vanmg at hotmail.com. On November 2nd, Art Linkletter is the master of ceremonies for the group's Veterans Day concert in Denver. The next day, the orchestra and chorus flies to Italy to perform at the Vatican and in Milan, Florence, and Venice.